This video will explore the basics of using the tool library. The tool dialog screen provides access to all of the tool related functionality. It is laid out into two sections. The upper section is the tool library and the lower section is the tool layout. The add tool to layout button is in the middle which moves the highlighted tool from the tool library to the tool layout. The tool library can be used independently to select, preview, edit, create, or import stored tooling. The tool layout consists of the layout graphic and the methods to move, change length, delete, and copy installed tooling. The tool library can be accessed from either the Job Setup tab or the Run Edit tab. Pressing the Tool Library button on either screen will open the Tool Dialog screen. Each tool in the Tool Library can be previewed by selecting it. Selecting a tool for the tool layout can be achieved by using the following steps. Select upper or lower tool and verify the tool folder path. Select the proper tool and verify the dimensions in the preview window to the right. Press the Add Tool to Layout button. To select the upper or lower tool folder, click on the upper lower tool button in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Verify that the path shown in the address bar is correct. If it is not, the folder can be changed by clicking on the Browse button, navigating to the proper folder, selecting it, and clicking the OK button. This folder will now be the default folder for either the upper or lower tooling files. The PressBreak software comes pre-configured with a library of tools from Wheela and Wilson Tool Suppliers. To access these tool files, please see the video on importing tooling files or the tool library section of the operation and safety manual that came with the machine. When selecting tooling from the library, it is possible to change the sort sequence of each of the columns in the header. Clicking on the header once will sort the tooling lowest to highest with the lowest numbers at the top. Clicking a second time will change the sequence to the highest numbers at the top. A cross section of the tooling will appear to the right of the tool library section showing critical dimensions of the tool to assist the user in selecting the appropriate tool. Once the correct tool is highlighted, press the Add Tool to Layout button. This will add the selected tool to the layout. The Graphical Tool Layout provides an intuitive method for viewing and modifying the placement and characteristics of the tools that you have added. Once the tools have been added to the layout, selecting a specific tool can be done by clicking on the tool in the display. Selected tools will be highlighted in light blue. By default, the tool will be placed in the center of the largest open area available. If there are other tools loaded in the machine, the new tool will be set to the left of the current tool. If there is not enough open space to accommodate the tool, it will be placed to the left of the center with the red cross hatching pattern indicating the interference zone. Tooling can be moved along the layout by either dragging the tool across to the desired position, by using the arrow keys, or by entering the position directly. To drag the tool to a desired position, click on the tool to highlight it, move it to the desired spot, and release. Using the arrow keys, we'll move the selected tool by one-tenth of an inch per click. The tool will shuttle across in tenth of an inch increments in the direction of the arrow if held down. To quickly move a tool to a desired position, it is possible to type in the left edge, right edge, or center location directly. 
Double click on the tool in the tool layout to open the tool length and location box. Specify the type of location and then type in the location in the field to the right. To change a tool length or orientation, double click on the appropriate tool graphic in the tool layout section. The tool length and location dialog box will open and allow the user to edit the length, position, and orientation of the tool, as well as add a die or punch holder if necessary. Please note that changes made with this dialog box will only affect the specific tooling used for this particular program. It does not change the original tool file itself. For more information on tooling, please see the tool library section of the operation and safety manual that came with the machine.